Welcome to another edition of the Make Code Arcade Advanced Stream. I'm Richard at Richard on the Make Code Forum. Hi, I'm Jasmine. I'm uh, at JX Boon on the Make Home Forums. Nice. What? Yeah, I finally made a count. <laughs> Woo! <Cool. laughs> uh, I'm Joey at J Wonder on the Make Code Forums. And I'm Vivian, and I'm eating my lunch at Live Truth on the Make Code Forum. Cool. And guys, um, today, um, yeah, I didn't plan anything at all, so I'm kind of drawing a blank here. I know we're going to do something that's time based, mm -hmm. but I'm opening it. I'm opening it to suggestions now. What do you What do you guys think? Oh. I want to do something with like a big clock. Oh. Like, can it be like a clock tower? Like a, the biggest type of clock? Maybe you got to mm -hmm. repair mm -hmm. your clock tower. Maybe mm -hmm. you got to deal with customers come up to your line until closing time maybe you gotta wash the windows on your clock tower in time true what does that mean like you know you're one of the people who's on the outside of a building with the little uh two uh metal ropes and the platform and you're washing it uh okay i like that idea a lot <clears throat> um oh you know what? This is Ooh. also gonna. This is a bad idea, but the ropes could be on the clock time. So if you take too long, you fall off. Oh no! I was just thinking of not doing it on a clock tower. We're just gonna <laughs> wash windows, and we're gonna have a timer. I think that's okay. gonna be a good thing. Because I wanna, I wanna. I feel like washing windows is gonna be fun. Yeah. Um. All right. So what I'm imagining is we've got a building and we've got a button that makes it go, makes your thing go down. And then if you press it again, you stop. When you stop, you automatically wash the window, depending on your position. Um, if you're not within range, you'll only partially wash the window. And we're going to give you a um, cleanliness report at the end. I like that because well you got to balance it. You're like, do I want to get a good record or a good time, you know? Mm -hmm. It's a beautiful, it's a beautiful balance. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so first thing we got to, I, I, I want this to be like a big building that you're like scrolling down. So I'm debating on whether or not to use that new extension I made. Mm, do it, yeah. why not? All right, I'm going to use it, but um, just so you know, maybe don't use this one yet because I'm, probably going to make it an official extension, but it's going to look pretty much the same. Um, so I'm adding a new one, uh, Rick Knoll slash arcade background scroll. Thanks. All right, once you add this, you get this little scroller category. And what this lets you do is it lets you scroll a background image. So what does that mean? Um, I'll show you off real quick with one of our built-in um, backgrounds because um, we recently added a bunch of backgrounds to Arcade. Um, and the neat thing about them is that they all loop. So um, if you like grab, um, I like the desert one. We'll do the desert one. I'm gonna go into scroller and um, I'm going to scroll it with a velocity. So I'll, I'll do this. I'm gonna set the VY to be zero, VX to be negative 90. And look at that. We've got a background. <laughs> Pretty cool. Um, and so if you, if you look through our gallery, all of these ones should scroll, um, I believe. I'm actually not sure about these two. Let's see, actually. Whoa. Oh, hey, they do. Nice. Um. Yeah. All right. Cool. Well. So, so all, all of these scroll, so you can just go ahead and you know choose one of them and get this I nice scrolling back. I guess you can have What's a up? bunch of stages right next to each other. That makes sense. Mm hmm. You have a bunch of play stages right next to each other, bunch of concurrent plays. Play stages. There's one that doesn't really scroll, which is the the. Oh. But I guess it might. Ah. 
<laughs> Pull up as much as you could. <laughs> also, people are requesting uh-huh. the link for the extension in chat. Do you not want to give it to them? I'll give it to them. You can go ahead, but um, just one thing is um, be aware that this this extension will continue to exist, but I'm planning on making an, it, an official Microsoft one that shows up in the in the dropdown. When that happens, um, you should use that one and not the one that I have um, right now. But the URL um, or, or the, the repo is um, rickknoll slash arcade um, background scroll. The other really cool thing about this extension is you can also scroll with the camera. So this is nice because you can um, have a tile map with transparency behind it and then just have the background scroll as your character moves. Kind of lame if they move at the same speed though, so you can also do camera scroll multipliers. Um, And what that does is um, there's this thing in platformers and other video games called parallax. Um, And this lets you do parallax scrolling. Um, which is really cool. So if you if you put in X and you put in like something lower than one, which is the normal speed, and do like 0.8, then the background will scroll a little bit slower than the camera does. And that ends up making it look like the background is far away and everything in the camera is close. So it gives you a kind of 3D effect. So try that out if you're making a platformer or something. Um, well, we're not doing that today. Okay. So... We're going to go ahead. We're going to draw us a, um, a, a background image. So let's go ahead. We're going to make it really tall. So um, the other nice thing about this is you can use background images that are bigger than the screen now because they'll just keep scrolling. Mm. So let's make it three screens high. That's skyscraper Now, we are going to draw a building. And we're going to make some windows. So I don't want to spend forever doing this. So I'm just going to be kind of, we're going to do this, you know, kind of simple and fast right now. I want it it to look sort of nice though, so. (laughs) We're going to do that. We're going to do those little lapping in. Um, somebody posted a suggestion in chat, but I don't want to read it. <laughs> it is a good idea, though. We should make it uh, really... something to that effect. Yeah, I like that. It's uh, maybe an eating in one of them. But, like, maybe we could just make it so each, every, like, fifth window has somebody just, like, making a funny face or something. Mm. Or maybe if you create I it. I like that idea, and what that's going to basically be is I'm going to ask you guys to make <laughs> me some windows. Yeah. Like oh. ghosts. You can have ghost windows. All right. So let, let, me, let me get the first basic window thing down. And then once I do, I'll give you guys the dimensions, and you guys can draw me some windows that fit that dimension and just have, you know, stuff going on. That's fair. So we're going to do like this. We'll give it like a little ledge or something. And um, there we go. Simple window. You know, not much going on. Let's copy and paste this and make sure that we have a, um, like a whole row. Whoops. <laughs> I have a question. Yeah. Won't the building have to go all the way up for it to scroll? I'm not going to have it loop. Oh, cool. Okay, I see. Okay. I think four is actually a pretty good thing for the um, number of, like, Windows. So we're just going to space these out a bit more. I'd like two to each. I have another question. Yeah. 
Does this mean this is more efficient using the scrolling thing than making a sprite that th is this large? Um, yes. Okay. If you make a sprite that's this large, um, I, it'll probably be fine, but as long as the physics engine doesn't do anything. I do too. But if the physics engine does do stuff, it's going to be weird. <laughs> Yeah, it'd be fine-ish just to uh, make it a ghost. Mm. To... Yeah. Otherwise, it'll take up like 20 sprites worth of... Uh, no, like 50 sprites? I don't know. I don't know. Um, all right, let me get you guys to the dimensions. So the dimensions, including the um, border and the ledge, okay, is... We'll um, open up another... Image editor. Oh, that's a good point. Sorry, guys. You can't see what I'm doing, but I am going to our um, chat and pasting stuff. Sneaky, sneaky. Oh, no. There you go. Jelly. All right. Now we're going to take this. We're going to um, go ahead and do some floors of our building. This is looking pretty good. This looks amazing. <laughs> I'm gonna say this looks better than any um, skyscraper I could have drawn. I feel like my rec my rectangles for the windows would not be nearly as um, aesthetic. They're just rectangles, for you. What? They're just rectangles. Richard, I but they're made with part. Yeah. Did I make this slightly? <clears throat> this slightly off. I think this might be slightly off. Roger, you saying it's they're just rectangles makes us feel silly if we can't make them look nice. Uh, You're right. If it's I'm like sorry. off by one, that's probably fine. You can have like a little band in the middle of the building, a little bit taller than the other for structural integrity. Mm -hmm. Well, the thing that's going to be a little weird is that we're going to be creating sprites to go over these windows. Oh, yeah, right. Hmm. So, it'll probably be fine. Okay. We're going to erase this bottom rail. Actually, we'll erase the bottom rail. But just the center ones, and then we'll put like a door or something there later. But I want to get I want to get the coding, so we'll just erase this for now. Richard, we had an amazing suggestion in chat, which is you should make this game in Minecraft on Friday. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Let me think about how that would work. Make a platform that moves you up and down. There would be a um, uh, like a block that's stained glass, and every time you break a stained glass, it turns into normal glass. Oh my gosh. Um, and then, yeah, something like that. Okay. Let's draw our window washer. So, um, Jerry, can you tell me what the dimensions are for that window? Uh, 19 by 36. All right. So we're going to make this tw uh, 20. We're going to make this, you know, let's just do 20 by 20 for now. We're can going we, to draw... 30, you mean the outer corner of the window, including ledge, right? Yeah. Okay. okay. Good. We're going to draw the little window washer thingy. I don't know what it's called. Squeegee? 
No, like the thing that they're in. Um. You know? Mm-hmm. The swing. I hope it's not a swing. <laughs> All right. We give them um, that to the head. Give them, uh, I'm going to make them purple. Like a little hat. Squeezy. This really makes it look like they have a top hat on. <laughs> Trying to make a hard hat, you know? Mm -hmm, for safety. Yeah. That's a bit better. Like... Yeah. Do like... yeah. Maybe like one orange highlight a little bit. Could that? Where, okay. where, Jay? I was thinking on the top uh, left of it. Something like that. Yeah, okay. All right, and this is supposed to be a safety vest. So let's see, safety vests are like, they've got like yellow strips, right? Yeah. Good enough, good enough. It's a little disappointing. Why? The scaffolding that they use? It's called a moving platform, a movable platform. Mm. I thought it was gonna have a cool name. Well, you wanted to be intuitive, right? Mm -hmm. uh, fun fact: um, Empire Jay, State could, you, could you um, you break off us, break us off a few examples of what you would name this thing? <laughs> um, cool movable platform. <laughs> Automagic movable platform. You gotta at least have like an adjective in there besides move. All right, so we got this. We're hanging down right here. And the idea is that we're going to draw ropes that, like, go from here, then go up. Um, but we'll do that later. Um, and to give this a little bit of depth, I think I'm also going to, like... Do that. And... Yeah, I think that looks pretty okay. Um, all right. Now we've got our squeege squeegeer, squeegeer. Um, we're going to place sprites over each of these windows, and they're just going to be rectangles that have um, um, that are just like I think this color basically, like the the like cream color. And then um, as you go, you're going to press A, and then it's going to squeege like a row, and so you want to squeege the entire window and then keep going. And um, there's going to be like a really like fast time limit, I think, so that you're encouraged to just you know do your best. Um, okay. So, um, Joey, hit me with that. Hit me with those dimensions again. Nineteen by thirty-six. Okay, nineteen by thirty-six. Um, so we're going to be drawing a rectangle in here. That is going to be one pixel offset because there's a border. And then how thick is the thing at the bottom, Joey? Uh, it is one, two, three, four. Okay. So it's like a that. two by two rectangle with a border. Yeah. Yeah, perfect. Okay. So this is going to be our um, uh, like um, image for the windows. And the idea is we're going to create a bunch of these, and then we're just going to erase them as we go. 
this is not going to be the most memory efficient way to do this, but um, whatever. So let's go ahead. We're going to um, figure out how many we need to create. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven floors. And we got um, four windows per floor. So we're going to do um, four index. And for this one, we're going to do, um, we're going to make a new variable called column. We're going to change this to be column. And we're going to do another four index. For this one, we're going to call it row. This one's going to go from 0 to 3, because it includes the last number. So that's going to be 0, 1, 2, 3, which is 4. Um, and then we have seven floors, so we're going to do 0 to 6. Now, for um, each of these, we're going to be creating a um, 30 window. And we're going to place them using our column and row. So let's go ahead. We're going to get our, um, we're going to set the left and the top, because I think that's going to be the easiest way to do this math. So let's do dirty window, left. And we're just going to try some of the values out, um, because I don't want to count pixels. So we're just going to try it out until it works. Um, it's going to be something plus the column. times something. Um, so first, let's try and get it so that our left bit is aligned with our windows. So I'm going to add, I think it's going to be like 30. Yeah, how off we are. Oh, so close. <laughs> All right, so it's going to be 32. Nice. All right. And now um, to space it out, I think it's going to be Let's see, that's like one, two, that's going to be like five, I think, plus two, so seven. Um, oh, actually, I'm going to need um, a plus in here. It's going to be column times um, seven plus the like width of our sprite. Ah, uh, just a bit too much. Oh, and we are not evenly spaced. And sorry, I'll fix that. We'll fix that. Um, okay, so we, we just want to do um, six plus the dirty window width. All right, now everyone's lined up, except that we have um, like one too much pixel in the center. So we're going to let's go into here. We're going to select. This whole half, no, not that much. There we go. This whole half the building. We're going to move it one pixel. Away. Nice, nice, nice. All right. We've got our windows aligned on the x axis now. Let's go ahead and do the y now. So. Just like we did before, we're going to do top, and it's going to be something. But instead of column, um, it's going to be row. And um, otherwise, it should be pretty similar. So we're going to, um, oh, and this should be height. OK, so 32 is way too much for this. So it's going to be like 24, maybe. That's, not, that's going to be less than that. 20. Nice, OK. And then we need to increase the um, spacing that we're doing by 2. So we're going to make this 8. Look at that. All right. Now we're going to um, just see how we're doing throughout the building, see if we need to make any more um, corrections. So we're going to do a camera follow. 
on our. I didn't give him a name. Window cleaner. Ah, uh, I was sure you were going to go with Ronaldo. That's weirdly specific. <laughs> okay, we're going to do camera follow. And, oh no, it's not working right. Well, that's because we need to go into our scroller category. And we're going to do scroll background with camera. And we only want to do it in the vertical direction. So we're only going to do vertically. Ooh, it's a little off, huh? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> yeah, what's happening here? Looks like there's multiple layers of it. Yeah. yeah. Is there... Probably a bug in my extension. <laughs> it is weird, though. Well, no matter. We're actually going to, instead of doing camera follow, we're going to be controlling our camera manually for this game. That was just for testing. So we're going to do a center camera app. We're going to put the X at 80. And we want our Y to change based off of like where we're currently at. So if I set this to be like, um, let's see, what's a good value to start? Um, I mean, 60 is good. Yeah, okay. Um, so now as we add values to this, our um, thing's going to move upwards. So yeah, that's working. So we're going to start at 60. We're going to um, uh, now create a variable, and that's going to be our um, current uh, position uh, y. And we're going to start that at 60. Um, and really, I guess I could just use the sprite for this. Yeah, I'll use the sprite for this. That's probably the best way to do it. All right, I'm going to make a function now. It's going to be place um, on column. It's going to take in a sprite. It's going to take in a column. Now what we're going to do is we're going to do this. And now we can actually call our function over here. So we've taken our code that we had before, and we're just putting it inside of this function so that I can also use it with the player. Why are you unhappy? Oh, do you not like that I used the special column? I'm sorry. Wait, you happy now? Oh, the other... The freshest blocks, Richard. The freshest blocks. Um... All right, cool. So let's place our, um, I think they should start on the right and go to the left. I don't really know why I feel that way, but what do you guys think? Hmm. I wasn't paying attention. All right. Joey? Oh, I'm so glad I pitched my wagon to the star of these. I'll pay attention troopers. now. I won't reach out anymore. This is only a serious stream now. Um, all right, we'll start on the left just because I guess that makes a little bit more sense, at least in our um, English-speaking world. So I'm going to go ahead and take our window cleaner, and I'm going to place them on column zero. Um, and now what we're going to do is we want to um, set their position to be up here. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to, inside of an on-game update, I'm going to be changing the camera. And 
and we want to center our camera on the um, Y of the player, but we want to make sure that we also box it. So we're going to um, select window cleaner. We're going to go into math and we have a constrain block and we want to make sure that it doesn't go too far um, in either direction. So 60 is the maximum that, well, the minimum that we want it to be. And then for the maximum, we want it to be, let's see, the height of this minus 60, so 300. Have we always had this block? Constraint? Mm-hmm. Yeah. This is amazing. Mm -hmm. Um, and now let's go ahead and take our window cleaner and give them a higher Z so that we, they're not under the smudge anymore. Nice. All right. Uh, we should also probably change the color of the squeegee. Uh, Vivian, the block does also have a cool JavaScript name if you didn't know it. What is it? Math.client. Oh, mm -hmm. I like that. So that's just built right. into JavaScript? Oh, sorry. No, it's not built into JavaScript. It's something we did. Oh, okay. Like, whoa. That's some very common thing. utility function. Yeah. Um, okay. We're going to put this up top. Um, we want to also do a quick animation, which is going to be our um, window cleaner doing a squeege. How um, so we're going to add a little bit. All right. Sorry. What we mean? No, I was just going to say something useless. I want to hear it. How many squeegees do you guys own? Zero. Um, Joey? I feel like your squeegee number would be high. Yeah, Joey. Do, do I own or do you, the people, my current... In your household. How many squeegees are in your household? Right here? Uh, there might be a lot. I'd have to guess like 10. The most interesting answer. <laughs> well, like, are they different? Well, there's like car squeegee. I mean, uh, I guess, do you count the ones that are like uh, towels, but they're super like spongy towels? So you uh, squeeze them out because they act as squeegees? No, no, no. They have to be, they have to go oh. like. Okay, just, just like. Okay. Uh, maybe only like four or five then. There's like a couple different size ones and, uh, you yeah. know. For cars, for windows, for backup, you know, because you lost them and then you found them again. That's amazing. There how... might be one in my apartment, if okay. that's what, if that's the difference. That was going to be my follow-up question. How many do you have? Nice. Jasmine? <laughs> Wait, what's a squeegee? <laughs> it's like... I think, okay, like, when you go to, like, gas stations and you have, like, the free, like, window washing stuff, it's, like, one side is, like, the squishy sponge and the other side is, like, the plastic thing. Oh, okay. Um, I don't think I have any in my household. I think that's pretty... Chat, how many squeegees <laughs> do your houses have? I feel like zero is pretty common. Yeah, I would say so. Nobody in chat has a squeegee yet. Rude. How many do you have, Vivian? I think I have two. What for? I use it for screen printing. I could use it to wash my car. Maybe. That makes sense. Oh, the question was how many squeegees do you own um, in your household? I'm going to go get my squeegees, just for, you know, a visual guide. And I want to know, Joey, if it counts as a squeegee in your mind. Your arm's getting, like, really long. 
But that's okay. Which one's the fast, Fantastic Four guy with the uh, stretchy arms? Mr. Fantastic? Mr. Fantastic? Yeah. Yeah, I guess that, that's, that seems obvious now that I'm saying it. Squeaky? I guess that counts. <laughs> All out. Not what I think of when I think of a squeegee, but I think it meets the definition for sure. Squeegee, and then goes squeegee. Oh my gosh, Richard. Let me turn off the notepad so we can see this animation. Yeah, and I'm happy with that. I love that. <laughs> Fix the mess I've had I made. Nice. All right. <clears throat> so, like I said, basically what we're going to do is A is going to make you go down. Um, and then uh, uh, when you release A, you're going to automatically squeegee. And then we're going to erase the um, dirty window, or at least the portion of it that you're currently squeegeeing. So what we're going to do is we're going to um, go into this. We're going to do an on A button pressed. We're going to do an on A button released. Um, and we're going to set a variable called actually I don't even know if we need this variable we're just going to give it a velocity so we'll set this to zero we'll set vy to be 50 sure why not um, and then on a button released we're going to set their vy to be zero we're going to run this on our window cleaner, loop off. And um, also I need for the last frame to make it the same as the first, I'm realizing. Oh, so cute. <laughs> The lag is really annoying me with the camera. You know? Mm. I wonder how I can fix that. Joey, how can I fix that? Uh, arcade sprite utility, you could fix it by putting it into a renderable and just not having the renderable draw anything. Because that will run at the right spot in the frame, probably. Will it? Renderables aren't sprites? Oh, uh, set the set the render roll at z index negative fifty. And it will run special? before all the other sprites. Uh, that would sort it so that it gets drawn first, right? Oh, and then draw the background image. Yeah, would that work? Maybe it wouldn't work. Uh, well, I, I guess now. I probably don't. We'll, we'll we'll fix it, but I want I want to make sure I want to get like the meat of the code done, you know. The meat yeah. and potatoes. I guess the real right. solution is to do it on shade. Yeah. Okay, so we need to figure out how much we're overlapping with the window, and then um, we need to go ahead and uh, like get rid of that amount. So what we're going to do is we're going to, um, I think, maybe create a collider. So we're going to make 
squeegee collider. Um, and this is going to be the width of our guy, which is 20. Um, the height is going to be the height of our squeegee plus like two on each side. So our squeegee is five. Um, so I think I'm going to make it like seven. And now we'll go ahead and fill this in with ink so we can see it. There's our squeegee collider. Now we want to make it so our squeegee collider is just always staying in the right place. So we're going to, inside the song game update, we're gonna set our squeegee um, collider's position. And it's going to be the X of our window cleaner. And then the Y is going to be um, uh, like our top plus a few, I think. Let's see. Richard, have you been drinking water? As I have been hearing Richard talk for an awfully long time. Surely he's not had a chance to sneak in some hydration. Yeah. I have a headache today because I didn't drink enough water. Oh, he's drinking enough water. I could add like eight. See what that does? Nope, too much. Six should do it. Nope, still too much. Oh, because I did it in the wrong place. <laughs> I got to subtract two from that, so it's four. Cool. All right. That's what I wanted. So what we're going to do is we're going to find the portion of the window that is overlapping with this. And then we're just going to draw transparent pixels through all of that. Mm -hmm. So let's go into our, um, well, let's make a function, which is going to be called um, do a squeegee. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to loop over all of our um, window sprites. So we should probably give those a kind. Graph. <laughs> we want to get uh, the array of all those sprites. Not that. And we're going to see if it overlaps with our collider. And what we're going to do is we're going to figure out how much we are overlapping. So to do that, um, we just need to figure out the, um, like where the top is relative to the top of our collider. So we'll get the difference. Um, and then we can just take their image and then we can fill it, um, with some, you know, the correct amount of height, just transparent pixels. So we're going to go ahead and get the image, which is in here somewhere. Where are you at? Where are you at? Value image. We're going to go into images and we're going to do a um, fill rectangle. I'm going to put the right image in there. The X and Y are both going, to, well, the X is going to be zero. The Y is actually the top. And for the top, what we want to do is we want to subtract the tops of these two sprites. So we're going to go ahead and do this. We're going to go into our math, get a minus, 9x. What that and Y? 
and it's going to be um, oh other way around I think the squeegee collider x I mean squeegee collider y minus the um, y of our value. Now for width, we're just going to do zero. No, now that that's not true. <laughs> we're going to do the width of our um, squeegee collider, and we're going to do our height of our squeegee collider. All right, and we're just going to leave that color as the gray, which is transparency. OK. And um, once we have found the right window, we're not going to be overlapping with more than one, so we can just go ahead and do a return. OK, now we're going to take this function, and we're going to put it inside of our on a button released, and we're going to do a squeegee. All right. It's like kind of working. It's being kind of weird. Oh. Oh. Stop. Stop. That'll fix that. Classic, classic mistake. You know, we we've all been there. This is good. This is good. Um, we're going to make this animation faster. And um, now what we want to do is we want to, uh, what do we want to do? I had it in my head a second ago. Points? Do we want to decide if it's full? We oh. do have to do scoring. That's for sure. Do we need to move left oh, to We right? probably want to make it so that, if, oh, we want to make it so the thing is invisible. Mmm. Wow. That was, it was really just staring right at us. Yeah. There we go. All right. We need to make it so you can't do this. <laughs> mm. um, all right, so we need to pause for the length of the animation to make sure that we're um, not like doing this multiple times. So I'm going to go ahead and add an extension. It's going to be timer. We're going to separately do. I'm going to put this in here. Well, we'll put the velocity outside. Um, and we're going to put in a pause. And we're going to pause for 100 times whatever the number of frames is. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 800. Whoops. Did it in the wrong place. 800. There we go. Um, and now we're going to make a variable, which is going to be called squeegee in. So we'll set our squeegeeing to be true. Now we're going to set our squeegeeing to be false. And we're going to put in some logic. And we're going to say, if not 
不一定。That's cool. We also need to do this. So that we can't start moving. Now. Can't do that anymore. We had a suggestion for a new block for the timer extension. Wait, is that a new block or is that an existing block, Joey? It looks like an existing oh. one. It's throttle, right? Oh. All right, we're gonna make this even faster because this is a fast-paced game. Thought we had a throttle. Right? Okay. The other thing we want to do is we want to make sure that the A button released only fires if there is a velocity. Because right now, um, since we're not doing anything, if you press the button while you are squeegeeing, you could press the button while you are squeegeeing and then release it, and then it's going to make you wait again for another one, and that's no fun. So we're going to make an AND. We're going to do a, a comparison. We're going to get the VY. Like that. All right, cool. Do I have art in the chat? You have so much art in the chat. Oh, good. All right. I'm so very we're probably gonna spend the rest of today just putting putting this this art in. Um, but we'll come back to this game because I'm into it. It's gonna be fun. Ooh. Okay, if we come back, we have somebody suggest a feature in chat. Take it or leave it. But they suggested having birds flying past. And then if they hit you, you get frozen for a little bit. I like that. All right, this first one's from Vivian. It's Joey eating a pumpkin. Yep, I think that's what that's what that would look like. <laughs> Yum food. All right. This next one is hey everyone, guess what Joey drew? Cork. I knew I saw it in the chat. It's a four. That looks great, Joey. Uh, was there a request from the chat for uh, Vivian making playing with a corgi? I love this. I saw a baby corgi this weekend, and it was so cute. Joey, why didn't you ever tell me? <laughs> you didn't send me a picture of a baby corgi? I didn't want to take a picture. It seemed weird. I've never been more betrayed in I my life. I don't want to violate the baby's privacy. <laughs> Wonderful work, Jasmine, doing giraffe Richard jamming out to music. Ah. Yeah, I try to replicate it. It's not that great as the original photo. <laughs> I think I think this has more of the Richard spirit. Alright. T-Rex? <laughs> I like it. Is it Fall Guys? Uh, no, it's just a person in a T-Rex outfit. I was going to try and make them embarrassed that you were looking at them, but then I, I realized... It's a person in a T-Rex <laughs> outfit where the head is perpendicular to their head. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a cool T-Rex outfit. You can like look at people and look at two at once. They'll never know where you're looking. All right. This one's from Jasmine. We got a very menacing creeper. Yeah, so when the window wipers like wipe the windows, they'll be in for a nice surprise. <laughs> it's one of the you know job known well known job hazards of a window washer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, we got another one from Joey. This one just says boo. Here. <laughs> All right, 
Another one from Vivian. Got Jasmine with a diamond pick. It's green because it's Minecraft. I got one more from Jasmine. <laughs> Starting off strong. All right. Nice. Hey, we got two in each column, huh? Looks good. We'll fill this out more when we come back to this. Come back to this game. Um, but in the meantime, uh, we've got we've got the basics going, and I'll also fix that bug so that the camera is aligned correctly. <laughs> nice. All right. Thanks, everybody, for joining us. Um, I'm Richard. I'm Richard on the Make Code Forum. I'm Jasmine at JXWoon on the Make Code Forums. Uh, I'm Joe at JWonder on the Make Code Forums. And I'm Vivian at LiveTrip on the Make Code Forums. And yeah, thanks for